Hey YouTube, took a little bit of a break at the new year, but I'm excited to be back with a new video for you today. Today we're gonna check out the iPhone silicone case in white for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can pick this up on apple.com or Amazon for $49, so definitely not a cheap case option. But as an added bonus, we're gonna pair this with this silicone MagSafe card wallet that I picked up on Amazon for $16. So if you don't wanna fork over another $60 for the Apple leather MagSafe wallet, then the $16 option might be something you wanna check out. And I'll tell you right now, the magnets on this thing work really well. This thing stays glued to your case or glued to your phone. You can use it with a case, you can use it without a case directly on the back of the phone. So definitely recommend this product. I'll leave a link to both of these down below. Now let's take a close up look. All right guys, let's start off with the silicone case in white. Um, I'll just take this out of the box. I've already unboxed this thing. I've been using this case for a while now, um, but just to kind of show you how it comes. It comes attached to kind of this cardboard backing you just pull it off and set that to the side or throw that away. And here you have the silicone case. So what do you need to know about this case? We're gonna kind of get to the meat of things, the important things here. Um, number one, I do feel like the silicone material, whatever that is this time around, is much smoother, much silkier feeling in the hand. I do feel like it has a better hand feel to it kind of a weird thing to say, but it does feel good. It does have a really nice silky feel. Now, does it grab your pockets when you're putting it in and out of your pocket? I don't notice it as much when I'm wearing jeans, but if I'm wearing workout clothes or athletic shorts, it is most definitely pulling on my pocket. So just keep in mind, if you buy the silicone case, just the nature of the material, it is gonna pull a little bit on your pocket. So let's flip this over here. Another important thing about this case, is it is a MagSafe case. So you can see how they've, there's kind of a line on the inside, a circle on the inside where it shows, denotes kind of where the magnets are embedded in the case. A little bit of iPhone branding there. And then the other thing is they've actually closed in this year, the top and the bottom of the case. In previous years, the bottom of your phone have been exposed, but I think because they've moved to the flat edges, They've actually chosen to have the edge of the case cover the entire phone all the way around. So instead of it being a cutout where it exposes the bottom of exposes the bottom of your phone, you actually get speaker holes and a cutout for your power port. If you notice, there is a ring, a white ring around the camera hump. So there is a camera hump. I'm, obviously, I have the white case, so that's why you get the white ring. So then on the inside, you do have a nice felt fabric. Um, and that fabric, if you notice, if I can get a look at that, let me zoom in here. So that fabric is, it, that fabric does move up on the sides. So the entire inside of the, the case is lined with felt to protect the the back of your phone. So let's go ahead and get, there's kind of, you can just see the nice thick kind of felt, I say thick, but just you know, it's nice felt fabric on the back of the case. There's your Apple logo on the outside. All right, let's plop the case in and take a look. Okay, so one of the features of MagSafe is, is that when you do put the case on this phone, you do get a nice animation showing that you'd actually have an Apple branded or an Apple made case with MagSafe built in. So if this is a fake silicone case, you're not going to get that animation when you put the phone in the case. So let's take a look around here. So if you notice, there is a nice lip around the front of the phone. So no problems at all. It's setting this, this phone down on its face or on its screen. I actually have a screen protector on and the lip still rises above even the screen protector. So there's a good lip around the front of the, of the case. And then also you have a nice camera hump on the back. 
So you can see right there, those camera lenses disappear. So plenty of protection for your camera lenses. I really like the white case because I have the gold phone. So the kind of the gold accents just look really nice as they show through the case in different areas you do. You also get a little bit of the gold on the bottom of the case. So there are the cutouts in the speaker ports. Buttons are, they don't stick out too far, but I haven't had any issues with the buttons. Uh, they're plenty clicky. Um, I wonder if they're already, I wonder if they're actually separate. Let's just take a look here. Can you pull the buttons out? So you can't pull the buttons out, but if you notice the material around the buttons is a little thinner. A lot of cases do this. The material around the buttons is a little bit thinner, so it makes them a little bit more clicky, which is nice, most definitely. Mute rocker, plenty of room to get in there and change your mute rocker up and down. Not a problem at all. There's your power button. Volume up and down. It's just a nice looking Apple branded silicone case. I've never had the white case before, so I thought I would do something a little bit different. I normally go for the darker colors, but I kind of like uh, the look of the white with the gold variant of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right, let's take a little bit of a closer look and then we're going to move on to the silicone wallet. So plenty of protection for the front of your phone, although I definitely still recommend you use a screen protector only because if you hit on a rock or something like that, you can still damage your screen, even if you have a case that has enough lip around the front. Here's the bottom of the phone. So you can see the power port and the speaker grills. Here's the side of the case, power button. As I said before, plenty clicky. There's not a lot adorning this case. It's just a flat silicone color. Here's the volume up and down button. The buttons are an off white. So I do like that they, the button colors as well as the rim around your camera hunt, ca camera hump as well as the rim around the camera lenses match the, the color of the case. Top of the phone, there's the Apple logo. Just look at the back of the phone here. And then you've got your camera lenses. So you can see the, the hump or the rim around the camera lenses it is going to give you protection so if you're setting this phone down on its back your camera lenses are going to be fine all right so one thing i wanted to check that i've been interesting in interested in so i noticed that when i was watching kind of the the release of the apple cases and the apple the new iphones one of the things I wondered is, is there a lip around the front of this case? Because it looked like when you put the case on, it looks like the side of the case just kind of sinks into the phone and it doesn't necessarily look like there's a lip around the front. But, so I was wondering how much, you know, what's keeping the case on? <laughs> well, I think two things is the tight fit. So it does fit on really tight. But also there is, as I feel kind of down here around the edges, you can kind of see Maybe a little bit, let's see if I can get that closer. Okay, here you go. But you can kind of see there is a lip, a very tiny bump of a lip that comes around over the front of your phone that keeps kind of the case on. There's no issues with this case falling off, but I was just curious about that. Now, if you'll notice, you don't really see the gold. You see a little bit of the gold edges, but not not much so those gold edges are being covered up by that lip that is on that is around the front of of the case on the inside so anyways that was just something that i wondered um and now we know
Okay, one more thing with the Apple silicone case. Put that, put the MagSafe charger on, and there you go. It's immediately, you get the animation, and it is now charging. This thing stays on pretty good. I've noticed that any kind of MagSafe, or for the most part, the MagSafe accessories I've tried, they typically stick to the silicone case better than other cases or just the iPhone itself, mainly because the silicone material is somewhat grabby. And with that in mind, this, this has, this is a pretty sticky case. So it is going to, has good grip because of the silicone material. It's not going to slip out of your hand very easily. So next up, we're going to take a look at the silicone wallet. It's pretty basic. So this is pretty much all it is. It comes in a little, little box here. It's made by a group AHA style. As I said before, I picked it up on Amazon for $16. I'll be honest. I have also saw it on AliExpress for I think half that amount. So if you're okay with shopping on AliExpress, then, you know, go, go look it up. Same brand AHA style on AliExpress. You can probably pick this up for half, half off. Um, what you can find it on Amazon. So it has, these aren't, this isn't perforated, but there's kind of some dots, some stylistic dots on the back of the, the wallet. And then if you turn it around, you can, I don't know, you can't really make out on the can. You can there you go, a little bit here. You can kind of see the ring. That's where the magnets sit. This is a thumb, thumb hole cut out so you can access the cards you put in. It advertises that it holds up to two cards. Now I've actually been, so I'm gonna put two cards in. Um, the, I've actually been using three cards with it. So I, I like to carry a minimum of three cards with me. Now with two cards, you know, it, the, the thumb hole doesn't really work that well either way because the silicone kind of grabs onto your cards. So there is a cutout on the bottom of the case as well, where you can just push up um, with your thumb to access your cards. It's a lot easier to access two cards than three, but put a third card in here. It will hold up to three cards. As I said before, I've been, I've been carrying my ATM card, a credit card, and my driver's license in this and haven't had a problem at all. So I carry up to three cards. They advertise two cards. It is a little bit harder to get your cards in and out, but I really don't have a problem with it. Um, it just takes a little bit of extra effort uh, to do that. So I find that three cards is is not a problem. Now let's talk about how the hold is. So let me pull up the, the iPhone here and really it just, it fits on just really nicely. Now I'm moving it around, but you can actually feel it kind of sink into the magnets. It'll kind of click in when it finds that magnet. And there's kind of the ring up here and then there's the line that comes down below the ring. And so there's a magnet actually, let's see if I can show you this. So you can barely see it right here. There's a little magnet there. So there's the ring up top and then it's a magnet here. And so that kind of serves to, to line it up in the right spot on the back of the case. As I said before, this is on there pretty good. Um, it's not gonna come off. We'll do a shake test here. I mean, it's gonna stay on there just fine. There's my scientific <laughs> shake test. Um, so I haven't had any issues with it coming off. Um, when I put this into my pocket, it stays with the phone just fine. So now I do typically when I take, I keep my phone in my back pocket. So when I do put it in out of the pocket, I'm kind of kind of cupping it like this and putting it in. So I'm not just kind of dropping it in like that, but I haven't had any issues with this coming off at all. Now I will say it does work better with the silicone case um, than other cases. Um, however, it also works just fine with the with the naked phones. So I take the case off, put this guy down in here just fine. Do another shake test here. All right, it's not coming off. So this thing is on pretty good. Now, it does it has a stronger hold with the silicone case, uh, but the hold with just the naked iPhone itself uh, is plenty strong. So I feel like the magnets in this thing are really good. It does have, it offers RFID protection um, to protect the credit cards so that the magnets don't interfere with the magnetic strip on your credit card. So it offers the RFID. 
And that's, you know, that's basically it. So if you wanna, if you're looking for a nice MagSafe wallet to try out on your phone, but you don't wanna fork over the $60, you know, go with this guy for 16 bucks or even cheaper, you know, on AliExpress. Um, definitely, and I've been really enjoying, you know, using this, using this with my, my phone. So, okay, you've got the Apple silicone case and it does come in multiple colors. As I said before, you can pick this up on apple.com or Amazon for $49. You can get it in plum, deep navy, kumquat, green, cypress green, pink citrus, white, as we saw here today, black and product red. And then you also have the MagSafe wallet that I picked up on Amazon for $16. You can also get this in multiple colors. I have the deep gray version here, but you can also pick this up in black as well as a midnight blue. So there are some variations to that if you would like to grab a different color, but definitely recommend both of these products. If you like the silicone case, you're looking for an Apple branded case, and I'll leave a link to in the description for both of these. Hope you enjoyed this content. If this is something that helps you in your purchasing decision, that's what I'm trying to do. So give me a subscribe down below. I'll be rolling out more videos coming up in the next, in the oncoming weeks. And I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. I'll see you next week. Thanks guys. Peace.